Hey, it's James Murray. We're in the Net News Ledger newsroom. We're in the home stretch of Election 215. I'm here with Patty Hadju, who is the Liberal candidate for Thunder Bay Superior North. Patty, welcome to the newsroom. Thanks very much, James. We're a week away. What's happening in your campaign? Well, we've been working hard for a year, actually. We've had an incredible group of volunteers who have been with me since the very beginning. I was nominated on October 12th. Uh, it feels like a lifetime ago, but it was a year ago exactly, almost. Uh, and uh, so we, 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 right now we're just pushing forward to the end. And so we've got uh, people knocking on doors, canvassing. We're, we've got you know canvases every day, uh, going to events, and uh, of course getting prepared for the, the big E day. Get out the vote is cute. Absolutely, huge. absolutely. Everybody's working on their plans and uh, you know making sure that we, we, we have the crew that we need and that we're, we're all set up and of course uh, planning the, the party afterwards. What are the issues you're hearing at the doors? Well, the issues have stayed somewhat consistent. Of course, uh, jobs in the economy has been the number one issue. People are concerned about their future, the future of their children, um, having a good job close to home and making sure that there's opportunities for uh, for people to stay in Thunder Bay is a really big issue. Lots of people are coming back as well from Alberta uh, because people have been forced to leave home for, for work and now as the... Uh, the oil industry is slowing down in Alberta. People have been coming home, and so there's concern about uh, how they're going to make ends meet. So that's that's been a really big concern. Um, of course, the issue of affordable housing in Thunder Bay has been a huge, huge. issue, um, and not just amongst people that you would traditionally think that have concerns, but also as as municipalities uh, uh, struggle in terms of retaining industry and. Uh, you know, having uh, commercial property tax, uh, of course, municipal tax goes up. And mm -hmm. so people uh, who, you know, have their own home but uh, have low-paying jobs or are some of those people that mm -hmm. have come back from the oil fields, um, you know, are struggling to make, make ends meet. Uh, property tax is one of the things that uh, puts them on the edge of actually being able to hold on to their home. And then, of course, health care issues in our population are always uh, always of a great concern, especially in the riding when people are having to travel a long distance to get to specialist appointments or treatments that are not available in their own communities. And so people are concerned about uh, the cost of health care, but in terms of pharmaceuticals, but also the distance that they have to travel. And, of course, all those accumulated costs that, that are associated with that that we don't necessarily think of. Absolutely. Now, being a week away... What's your goals going forward? And, and it's now day after the election. You're the member of parliament for Thunder Bay Superior North. What's your first priority? Well, my first priority is to, uh, of course, you know, uh, bring the message of Thunder Bay to to my party and to to the House of Commons. And, uh, we've got a great plan. The Liberal Party plan is something that I think is unique. It's uh, something that specifically addresses the issues in the North, and it'll be my job to make sure that we stay on the map and that we get the share of resources that we need. Uh, infrastructure spending is a big commitment uh, on behalf of the Liberal Party, and it's what really sets us apart. We are we say uh, you know we we will invest significantly in infrastructure. We will double the infrastructure spend in mm -hmm. the next two years. Uh, a historic commitment of 120 billion dollars over. 10 years. And so th those kinds of commitments will see uh, immediate impact in, in the North. And so it'll be my job to make sure that um, I know the priorities of the North and that I'm I'm advocating for uh, the resources that, that we need in our community to, to address our significant infrastructure shortage. And what will happen as a result of that is that people will have access to good jobs, will be able to build the things that we need, like housing and energy grids, uh, you know, able to support the development of the Ring of Fire. And we will actually stimulate small and medium-sized businesses businesses who will benefit from people having more money in their pockets uh, and then we'll be able to attract uh, new industry to the north and so my job will be to make sure that we stay on the map and, and that our needs are known in the House of Commons. Now something going on a little bit at the national side, um, Liberal leader Justin Trudeau is basically telling people to take a second look at the Liberal Party, especially Conservatives, because mm -hmm. he's saying that the party left them. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing that in Thunder Bay? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I think there are a number of Conservatives that are concerned about the economy, concerned about our our uh, fiscal ability, both locally and nationally, who uh, are listening to the economists that have weighed in on the Liberal plan. And, and we've got economists from across the board, from across the ocean, that have said this is, uh, you know, our plan is great. It's sound. It's demonstrated to work. Um, there's evidence behind it. And so I think people, 
uh, you know, the small C conservatives that are people that are concerned about good jobs and economic growth see the potential of this plan. And so they are uh, talking to me at the door, they're voting for me, uh, and I'm so thrilled. Um, I think there will always be, like any party, a core group of people that will identify with a specific party. But I think um, many, many people don't vote necessarily uh, aligned with a party uh, solely, that they're mm -hmm. really looking at what each party is having is, is offering. Mm -hmm. And in this case, I think the Liberal Party is offering a plan that um, is realistic, it's attainable, and it's going to generate econ economic growth for, for our country. And that is an exciting thing, I think, no matter what stripe you are. Patty, um, any last words for the voters in Thunder Bay, Superior North? Well, I just want to tell people that this is a, a really important election. Every vote's going to count. People need to get out and vote. Um, take a look at our plan. If you have time, download the plan, read the plan. You'll see that it's comprehensive. It covers the issues that we're concerned about in the North, and it's doable. And the greatest thing is it's about real change right now, which is a really big difference from what the other parties are offering. Patty, thank you for coming in. Thanks very much, James. I'm James in the Net News Legend Newsroom with Patty, our Liberal candidate in Thunder Bay Superior North.